Hey guys, welcome back to Real Estate Informed, the channel that keeps you up to date on all things real estate. My name is Kevin, and today we are going to talk about what I feel like the media is not even talking about, which is very, very big, because what they did today will probably lead to other um, you know, programs following suit. So what I'm talking about today is mortgage forbearance for multifamily. Um, so there's an article, um, it's on Forbes, uh, the article says Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae extend multifamily forbearance offers relief to landlords and renters. So basically, in the CARES Act, um, there was a three-month mortgage forbearance, April, May, and June. That's due to expire. And this next, uh, I believe it's called the People's Act, is supposed to extend it. They don't know. They, they, and then also things about um, mortgage forbearance um, having, you know, three months all three payments are due on the fourth month. Uh, in this People's Act, they want to add it to the end of the loan so the people can just continue on and just kind of put pause on those three months. Um, whether that happens or not, uh, it, it hasn't been decided. It's in the Senate. The Senate's in recess till July 19th. And even after that, um, you know, they're saying maybe early August, then we might have like specifics about what's covered in the, you know, uh, People's Act. Things about the six hundred dollars federal per week is that going to be extended beyond July? End of last week of July? Is it not? That will have a huge impact on the, on our economy and essentially real estate. Um, so let's just dive into this article a little bit. So basically, this article is saying that um, the CARES Act extended mortgage forbearance for multifamily and single family. Uh, mortgages for three months, which was uh, April, May, and June. Um, so now we're kind of ending that period. And so now um, the, the single family homes, that that's in the People, uh, People's Act. Uh, but FHA and Fannie Mae um, and Freddie Mac are just bonding together and they're extending it three months individually. So this isn't a federal mandate, but any mortgage that's backed by F Fannie, Freddie, or um, uh, FHA, um, will be extended an additional three months. So we're at six months of mortgage forbearance. And this is just for multifamily. These are just for, um, you know, multifamily loans, landlord loans, not um, homes or properties that you live in. Um, so, um, which is very important. Um, if you extend this for six months, there's a couple of things. Um, that means that, you know, they're probably going to extend evictions, um, you know, a lot of states have already extended evictions. So uh, I can see in the future that it, this isn't a federal thing. This isn't the People's Act. This is just F Fannie and Freddie going out of their way to extending it another three months, which shows me that the mortgage forbearance for single family, Fannie and Freddie went out of their way to do this. Then when the People's Act passes, they're going to extend mortgage forbearance, probably in my opinion, for another three, at least another three months now that's just me um i think that if fannie and freddie is doing it then why not for single family too so at least for another three months they're going to extend mortgage forbearance now uh one very important thing to note, and it can go up to a year. You can, um, the Democrats wanted what they presented to the Senate was, uh, I, I think I, they want to extend mortgage forbearance for a year and they want to make sure that it's ended to the end of the loan and then it's not all due after that one year. Um, and so, one very interesting point is that Fannie and Freddie do not spec, do not give any type of speculation or answer to after those three months are up. Are the loans due at the end of the loan? Are they due all together? Is there a payment plan? They don't even specify that. So I guess they're just kind of playing it by ear and seeing because, um, and this just this article released four hours ago. So this just happened. The media is not covering it, but I think it's a very, very important article. Um, and the reason being is that, um, you know, what they do with multifamily is probably what they're going to do with single family. You can't end mortgage forbearance for single family for, you know, three, three months when you multifamily gets it extended. It, it should be the same. So I, they're definitely going to extend it for at least three months. It could be up to a year because that's what the Democrats presented uh, to the Senate. There was a couple of, um, you know, a um, couple of plans that they had. But, you know, for the most part, it was a, a year and that they would extend it to the end. Um, all the payments would be due at the end of the loan. So basically, it's like a one year pause in their payments and almost basically adds a year to your mortgage but to the end of it um, so multifamily extended it um, but they did not specify that after three months after these additional three months we're talking six months total 
do that does that do the, is all of it due as at the end of six months is six months worth of payments due at the end of six months plus the seventh months or is there a payment plan this or that this is playing about year and i think the main reason they're playing about year is because the economy is opening up and the cases are continuing to rise especially in the south um, not so much in new york but in the south texas arizona um uh alabama florida florida had bars open and um before anybody else and now they've closed the bars also which shows you that they're they're sh they're you know basically going to go back to shutdown mode um even in my own state we're starting to see a rise in cases not as much as florida or arizona or anything in the south but we are seeing a rise in cases and they mandated in the state of washington that if you're in public you must wear a mask which i fully agree with you know i i, I think that you know if 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 you know, we can't shut this down. Basically, when you shut the entire economy, now this is my personal opinion, um, you know, when you shut the entire economy down, what you're basically doing is you're pausing the virus. You're not dealing with it because dealing with it would be, okay, we're going to pause everything for six months. And in that six months, we're going to find a, um, you know, uh, an antidote. We're going to find a, you know, um, a shot that everyone can take, um, a vaccine. Uh, we're going to uh, find a, a, a medical cure that if you do get the virus, we can give you this pill or this shot and you know it can kill it immediately something in those six months we we stopped the economy for march april may june was finally starting to open up again uh, for three months and we didn't find anything all we did was pause the virus that's all we did um so i think that you know mandating masks mandating hand washing mandating all of this stuff you know the, it's just as common as you can't smoke in a public place um like like a like a grocery store you can't smoke in a grocery store well then you know same thing you can't walk in a grocery store without a mask it's just now common courtesy and then we can help prevent the spread that way because basically when you just put everything on pause and you're not finding a, a, a you know some sort of solution you're just pausing the inevitable uh, but that's my personal opinion but back to the topic at hand of mortgage forbearance yes multifamily is extending it then definitely single family homes will be extended it's just that when because they uh the senate is um resells to july 19th they'll be back july 20th and they said that early august they'll pass the people's act and what's included they might not even extend um, but i think that they will but they might not the, the six hundred dollars per week they said that they might extend that till january of the next year last week of january that's what the democrats wanted senate doesn't want that so now they got to negotiate so i mean everything kind of leans on please pay attention to your local laws of evictions um please because every state and city are different on evictions some memorandums such as like in texas or whatnot they were up june 4th or june 5th first week of june and evictions started and there was a flood of evictions some states like mine um in washington where they extended it from june 4th to august 1st so now we have to wait till august 1st they might extend it another six months city of seattle now this isn't the state but this is the city of seattle said that from june 4th plus six months forward there's uh no eviction memorandum so that you know anytime you try to evict somebody they can go to court and say that they, they had a financial struggle because of the pandemic and they just have to show proof and they can't get evicted which you know you know once again you know that watch your city and so that'll kind of do why am i saying all this if i'm saying all this because this this will determine what your real estate market will do what your rental market will do because i know there's a lot of people out there who follow me that are renters there's a lot of people who follow me that are um you know real estate investors and they just want to know what's happening so with multifamily extending their mortgage forbearance in my opinion single family will also extend their mortgage forbearance which will kind of hold up the housing market whoa i almost flipped you guys off <laughs> hold up the housing market no uh, <laughs> hold up raise the roof what what hold up the housing market to a certain point where okay if we're going to have mortgage forbearance for six months then the housing market is going to be held up for six months because interest rates are low and people are still buying but as soon as the mortgage forbearance time is up uh, six hundred dollars a week i feel like a lot of people are paying mortgage by that six hundred dollars federally that they're getting once that is up 
Uh, you're going to see a lot of foreclosures, a lot of um, mortgage forbearance up, and then you have to add 90 days to that because it takes 90 days to foreclose on a house. And you'll see rental prices go down. You'll see um, you know, a lot of houses going on forbearance, a lot of houses hitting the market. There's a lot of people who are in mortgage forbearance that if the mortgage forbearance doesn't extend, they'll just list their house because they only owe, like say, $300,000 and the house is worth $500,000. So they'll just hit the market problem with that which people don't see is like oh you can just sell your house problem with that is they're not alone there's eight uh what is it eight point eight percent of people are in mortgage forbearance today and that's that's today's statistic it can go up so if eight eight, eight almost ten percent of people are in mortgage forbearance when you mark your house hits the market those 10% of homes are also going to hit the market. And depending on how heavily populated your city is, that can mean lots and lots and lots and lots of homes. So when you have high inventory and not enough buyers, what happens? Prices go down. So this isn't instantaneous. This is all dependent upon the People's Act and when they're going to pass that. And apparently it's August 1st now. But keep an eye out on the Keep an eye on your local, regu local regulations of what's happening. And, um, you know, that's my video for today. If you guys liked it, please thumbs up. It up um, if you have a question please leave a comment below I'll answer it on my next video and uh, stay blessed guys thanks bye